All right, so now that the epoxy is set, what you want to do is you want to just go back with a file and you just want to take off anything left on the outside just to smooth it down to PVC. Should be pretty quick. There shouldn't be too much on here. There shouldn't be too much shaving to do. Now for the very tip here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to round it. So I'm going to do that with the file right now. So you can use really whatever you want for this. So once you got that, you can see, just wanted to round this off and give it a nice sort of rounded tip to it. So what you want to do is, once you've got this, so this is pretty much done, I'm going to go sand this off, then I'm going to finish up the other side here, and then we're going to put some knocks on this right at the tip you want to measure uh, three quarters of an inch down and so from here you're going to cut with a either a one eighth inch rat tail file or a round file or a tile saw you know anything that'll get about a one eighth inch groove which is the same as a uh, bowstring you're going to cut one groove here and then one groove on the other side and together that's going to make your string knot if you can see another thing you want to do is if you can see right in here there's a groove I just filed that groove right there with the uh, knock file the eighth inch file so that when the string so that when you put a string on here the string will actually rest in that groove so that when you fire the bow the string will return to that after every shot so now we're going to go do this to the other side and then we're going to string it up and make any adjustments that we need to. Alright, so now that you've cut your two knocks, what you want to do is you want to actually heat up both sides of the handle and you want to flex the limbs toward the belly a little bit. We're putting some deflex into this bow. That's to help it shoot a little smoother and you know there's going to be less hand shock and it's going to be less strain on the handle section because you know these recurves are really large and because they're static recurves they're not doing any work so we're trying to get all of the flex to happen right here in the middle of so once you've done that and it's not a real extreme curve and while you're doing that you might you you'll want to make sure that both your tips are lining up so once you've got that, we're going to string this up. I'm using a 52 inch string. If you're going out to buy a string, get a string for about a 55 inch bow. You can go a little bit longer and twist the string up and that'll work as well. So I'm just stepping into the bow to string it up. Let's take a look. So here it is. So it looks like it's lining up pretty well. So now what you want to do is you want to look at the bow 
and you want to figure out which side is bending more. That's this side. So this is going to be our top limb. So when we go to use this bow, we're going to draw from here. Alright. So now we're going to start putting our snaky curves into this bow. Now if your tips weren't lining up, you just need to sight down and if it looks like one side is twisted, then you need to just heat it up and bend it back. But this came out pretty good. So now we're going to start the snaky curves. All right, now here's the fun part. What we're going to do is we're going to actually heat this bow up. We're going to start with our top limb. What you need to do is you need to Hold the handle like this, and so I'll just show it this way. And you need to sight down your bow, and you need to just kind of figure out how much of an angle you need based off of the center of the bow here for you to place an arrow and it'll line up center. It's a lot more comp, it's a, it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heating up the top first. And we're going to be flexing it, since I'm right-handed, I'm going to be flexing it this way so that the center of the bow ends up right here. And if I were left-handed, I would want to flex it this way to the right. That way I can rest my arrow over here and it'll be center. So, basically, I just heat up the handle. One, one inch right above the handle, the same place where we put the deflex. Okay. So now that the handle is soft, you want to go and you want to flex it. So you're going to try and flex it as hard as you can without the handle collapsing. You want to you want to go and you just want to press on it just to make sure it keeps its shape. You want this curve to be fairly extreme, not so much that you collapse the pipe. You might have to heat it a couple times to get it where you want it to go. Okay, so if you can see, when I hold it this way, when I hold the bow this way, if I hold this limb straight up and down, and I put an arrow here, the arrow should line up with the center of the bow. So right now, it's a little bit, it's not quite at the center point. So. You need to go back and heat it up again. It takes a little bit of tweaking to get it there. So like I did that before, place the arrow, and then you want to flex the top limb, 
until that arrow, when the limb, top limb is straight up and down, the arrow lines up perfectly with the center line of the bow. If you can see right here. See that the arrow is lined up with the center point of the bow here. So that's how far you want to go. So now you just hold that in place until it cools and sets. You can see we've got our first snaky curve in here. So as you can see, when this limb is straight up and down, an arrow would sit right on center here.